Today, we're gonna to update the firmware on the Volca Kit. But before we get started, I wanna give you guys a warning. Don't play this audio file back on any of your personal equipment because it can damage it and it could hurt your ears enough to make you go deaf. So before we get started, we're gonna need three things. We're gonna need an auxiliary cable, a 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter, both male tips. You're gonna to need to plug your Volca Kick into the wall or you can get six fully charged batteries. And the last thing you need to do is go to Corb's website, get in the support section and download your update file. Let's get started. So assuming you've already went to the Corb site and downloaded the support software, your driver, your firmware update, let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is to check and make sure that we have the right update for our firmware. If we don't, we need to go ahead and carry on through the procedures and make sure we get the appropriate update. So to do that, you're going to hold record and you're going to turn your vocal kick on. As you can see, mine is showing an earlier version of the firmware software. So I'm going to go ahead and power off my Volca. So now I hope you got your auxiliary cable because we're going to need to put one end into the sink in and the other end into the audio of our computer. Let me go ahead and do that. Next, I'm going to hold function and play, and then I'm going to turn on my Volca kick. All right. So now your Volca kick is in update mode. Your display will have a capital U, a capital P, lowercase d, and a lowercase t to let you know. So now you're ready to start playing back your update file. But before you do that, make sure you shut down any push notifications, get off the internet, because anything that makes sounds out of that headphone output will screw up your update. You'll notice your vocal kick would immediately start changing. The LEDs will begin lighting up to let you know the progress that's going on during the update. It acts like a countdown. When the computer is doing the update, make sure you don't touch it, don't operate it, just be patient. They say it should take 30 seconds while this thing is going on. If you do the firmware update correctly, all the LEDs will light up and your display will read in. Now you can power off your Volca. I'm going ahead and take the scene cord out. I'm getting that headphone jack out of my computer. And to double check that your firmware update went through, you can go ahead and hold record and hit the power button. And now you can see that mine says 1.02 and we're good to go. I should be able to turn my Volca on and we'll be rocking and rolling. Everything looks good to me. Awesome. To check on what this firmware update did for you, go to my website at vocastudio.com and click on the firmware update post and it'll give you all the details on what happened and changed with this firmware update. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comment section below. And that's it for today, man. I hope you had fun.